Hi, this is Jack Stanley. I wanted to ask you a question. What are you doing to preserve your history? Think about that. What are you doing to preserve the history that you represent? You see, we all have a history. We have all lived our lives. We have all done interesting things. And we should try to find ways of saving and preserving things. But do we? No. We have a amazing habit of letting our history fly right out the window. And we don't do a thing to preserve it. That's wrong. Because I want to tell you something. Our history, everyone's history, is an important and fascinating history because it's the history of people. And that's what history is all about. And a lot of times people, well, I'm not that important. Well, of course you are. See, this is the thing. We kind of think that only certain people's history are important, but that's not true. Because the history of the common man is some of the most important history of all. And when I say the common man, I'm talking mankind. Now the thing is, look at what we do to totally disregard our history. We don't write letters, we don't, we don't keep diaries, we don't keep documents, we don't keep papers. We do emails and texts and Instagram and but have you ever given it a thought that all of these warehouses of banks of computers, there will come a time when it's expedient to get rid of a good deal of what they have because it'll serve no purpose or value to them. It's a very important thing to think of. And you ever think about when historians write books about various uh, individuals? They talk about going through their private papers and their diaries. What do we do today? We don't have this stuff. I mean, I have kept a diary now for, what, 45 years. For 45 years, I've been just documenting. And it's never too late to start. And it's never too late to start to collect a bit of history on yourself. Whomever you are, whatever you are, whatever your position, whatever you do as a profession, what you do will be of great interest to others many years from now. We don't see it. The people who lived 200 years ago did not see it about themselves. But believe me. You look at things that took place 200 years ago and look at people's lives and look at what they wrote. Look at what they talked about. And that's so very important to us. So I am saying this as basically trying to push, trying to promote, trying to encourage people to look at your history, save your history, share your history, and give that history to people that are yet unborn. That is one of the most noble things that you can do. Think about this, play with it, and start your new career on preserving your history.